It is very rare that an aircraft comes along and blows you away with the simplicity of design. Perhaps the last time we witnessed it was in the case of Opener's Blackfly, an eVTOL which took out the complexity of tilt rotor and tilt wing mechanism and presented a new concept of an automatic tilting body for vertical takeoff and landing. And because it was a pure VTOL, the Blackfly didn't have a landing gear, it just had a rub strip on its belly. This simple tilting body concept resulted in a lower weight of the aircraft which enhanced its performance particularly when compared to other single-seater battery-powered multicopters. Fortunately for us, another simple and yet beautiful concept has appeared in the form of Skyfly X. It's a canard wing design with four propellers that are driven by eight motors, two for each prop for redundancy. Each motor is rated at 35 kilowatts and they're installed with a tilt. This ensures that unlike the Blackfly, the pilot in the X remains in the upright position while the aircraft takes off vertically. For energy saving, it can also do a conventional and short takeoff and landing. Once airborne, it flies like a fixed wing. It is a two-seater with option for fully electric or hybrid power system. The all-electric version of the aircraft will have a cruise speed of 100 miles per hour with a range of 100 miles. With the hybrid electric power source, the range is expected to be 200 miles. The empty weight of the aircraft without the batteries is 182 kilograms and the battery pack weight is 246 kilograms. The X has a maximum payload of 172 kilograms. The maximum takeoff weight of the aircraft is 600 kilograms. Let's now have a look at the energy and power consumption. The battery pack for X has an energy capacity of 48 kilowatt hours. The power required for hovering is 140 kilowatts, while it consumes just 30 kilowatts in cruise. The maximum thrust available from the propellers is around 700 kilograms. This gives the aircraft a decent lift authority of 16% above the maximum takeoff weight. So let's have a look at some of the design features. The X has a canard wing configuration. The four propellers are mounted at 45 degrees. They're attached to the outer portion of the wing on an extended wing spar. The propeller have a diameter of 1.9 meters. Both the canard and the span of the wings is five meters. If we take into account the propellers, then the total width of the aircraft comes out to be 8.2 meters. The X is four meters in length and 3.3 meters in height, making it a fairly compact aircraft overall. The cord length of the wing is 1.2 meters and the canard is 0.8 meters. This gives a total wing area of approximately 10 square meters. The presence of rotors on the wing end improves the lift efficiency of the wings as it can counteract the wingtip vortices. The problem with this approach, however, is that in case of a loss of a motor, there is extreme asymmetric thrust. This can be countered by turning off the opposite motor. In such a case, the axe will still have two propellers to fly with. One of the most prominent features of the X is its high glide ratio of 9 is to 1. This is the same as the Cessna 172 and provides the ability to glide safely and land in the case of total power failure. The sink rate for the Skyfly X is just 570 feet per minute at 70 miles per hour. To put that into context, it is slower than a parachute. This is also less than 10 feet per second that is required by the FA for certification. Although in the case of a power out landing, it would need a runway or a landing strip to land safely. The AN2 doesn't list any stall speed because control descents are possible even at 25 knots or 30 miles per hour. The X similarly avoids stall thanks to its scanner design. In the case of a total power out, it will nose down and keep flying. It will also have the additional safety of ballistic parachute, which is becoming a common feature in most modern small aircraft. The X has a vertical stabilizer, which is absent both in the Wahana and the Blackfly. The presence of rudder will make the aircraft more responsive to your control. We have seen that in aircraft like the Blackfly and Wahana, where the aircraft is turned by varying the propeller speed and using elevons, that the aircraft turning response is a bit laggy. 
This wouldn't be case in the X, which has a fairly large rudder. So let's talk about the mileage and see if the figure of 100 miles range is realistic. Skyfly have stated that the X has a high L by D ratio. Note that there are EV toll companies that claim much higher L by D ratios, but it is yet to be seen if those figures are true. For example, the L by D ratio of 14.8 for a tilt duct EV toll and 10.3 for a tilt rotor EV toll have been reported by an MIT study. It might be the case that the higher L by D ratio is during powered flight rather than for the unpowered flight because most of the EV toll designs use augmented lift. If 30 kilowatts is what is consumed by the aircraft in cruise and the cruise speed is 100 miles per hour, then the mass does add up given that the battery pack will have enough juice remaining, that is 18 kilowatt hours after the energy for cruise is taken out. This is sufficient energy for takeoff and reserve. The battery mass fraction of the aircraft is fairly high, that is 41.3%. Note that a study by Traub et al. revealed that the optimal battery mass fraction for maximum range and endurance is two-thirds of the total aircraft weight. The battery mass fraction of the X is certainly not 66%, but it is better than most EVTOL designs, which remain at 35% or lower. The X also comes with an interesting feature, which is a range extender. This is in the form of a lightweight 50 kilowatt rotary engine generator. The generator weighs just 55 kilograms. The rotary engine generator is manufactured by Rotron and will increase the endurance to more than two hours. Skyfly are taking pre-orders. The base price of the X is 175,000 US dollars. The options for range extender will set you back by another $58,000. And ballistic parachute on board will cost another $23,000. One has to keep in mind that the running cost of this aircraft are low and the aircraft gives you all three options of vertical, short, and conventional takeoff and landing. In terms of the design, the X is certainly not the most appealing aircraft in the EV toll category, but it is designed to be safe and practical. So what do you think about this aircraft? Is its price too steep? Will this aircraft achieve certification? Please do let me know in the comment section. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.